Shaka koski ataba. Randi kabriatosia. I've seen in the spirit that favor is supposed to rest upon Koinonia. Lord, I give you no rest until you establish Jerusalem as a praise. And you are praying. While you are praying, on Tuesday, prayer department takes it like that. Every department is really a prayer department. It's just that there is one dedicated to the ministry of prayer. Hallelujah. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, we worship you. Imagine a worship song like this waking you up in the night. You lie down on the bed and you just program it. You imagine what you are hearing waking you up in the night. Worship him, why not? You can have a one hour session of worship like this and put it online. Help people. You don't have to be the one to sing yourself. And while it is playing, there's something that worship does to the spirit of man. It can take away laziness. Tiredness can dry away in one moment. Pray in the spirit for one minute whilst you are there. Shaba kataba lakata basha, kraka taba ranta kapras kata belaka tosh, kante praka tosh kata frende kebelaka ta, he pras kata parende ke parusia ta, raka te pras kata parende ke fres kata belaka ta. Greater works, greater works across the nations of the earth, greater works, birthed and enforced in the place of prayer. Birthed and enforced in the place of prayer. Birthed and enforced in the place of prayer. Go ahead and pray. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, we worship you. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, we worship you. Lamb of God, we worship you. Pray. Lamb of God, we worship you. Lamb of God, we worship you. Take a minute and fold all seasons in your life. Fold all seasons in your life. That everything that is inconsistent with God's blueprint in my life, I hold onto the horns of the altar and I decree, let it be done in this earth as it is in the heavens. Koinonia pray. Zaria pray. A global family pray. E paros kata frende kebere katosh. E kras kati balas koto frende kebere ata. Emmanuel, all the world is calling your name. Emmanuel, when you come again. Emmanuel. And the church will see your holy face, Emmanuel. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Hear me. In the name of Jesus. Are you learning? Listen. Your first response to anything you see or hear in the spirit or any prompting at all whether by the Holy Spirit or another kind of spirit is to pray. Prayer filters all revelations. Driving away that which is inconsistent with the will of God and establishing that which is consistent with the will of God. You are a businessman. I know that your transaction is where your reward comes from. But your discernment does not come from transactions. Your discernment comes from prayer. Thou shalt hear a voice saying, this is the way, walk ye in it. You can transact well, but in a wrong location. If you are Isaac and you get out of Egypt 
and don't and and sow in another place you will not reap anything even though you have the ability to sow hallelujah listen to me let me challenge everybody here and i'm speaking to our global family i have a responsibility over you i want you to find a day this week that even if it's for two three hours except otherwise if god can give you grace please i give you the permission organize a family prayer for yourself and use one two hours settle certain things in your life are you getting what i'm saying now if you're a father here you are you are married you're a family man i i put that responsibility on you don't lazily say my wife is the one who can pray in the name of jesus you have grace now spearhead that move gather your children john where are you stephanie where are you in the name of jesus we are praying tomorrow and if god grants you grace you can declare fast the children can fast to 12. they will not die don't pamper them into spiritual weakness if the same children are sick they will not eat for three days and they don't die hallelujah Please listen, this is an assignment to the Koinonia Global Family. You can use one day. It doesn't have to be all the day, but use one day. If you don't have a family, look for somebody to agree with you and say in the name of Jesus Christ, write a list of the things you want to deal with. And if you do not know, pray, Lord, what am I doing on earth? I'm tired of going around, escorting men across their destinies. Reveal to me. You said, call on to me and I will answer. I will show you great and mighty things. You can pray your personal requests and then pray for the program of God. Hallelujah. Bring before the throne that dream you saw. You saw your mother dying. You saw your father dying. You saw ministry failing. Are we together now? You saw your business failing. Don't sit down and let it happen. Then you say, I saw it. Your seeing does not profit you. Your hearing does not profit you until you know how to allow or disallow things in prayer. For as long as I am alive, my life will operate based on the will of God in partnership with my terms no devil who is not part of my life has the authority to put his hand in the affairs of my life or if you see it in a vision it will remain there prayer will hang it there for my lifetime it will not bring it down my assignment is to select the events in the spirit that are consistent with the will of God and to allow them to be made manifest hallelujah let me give you one more prayer father place upon me the grace to pray go ahead and pray place upon me you are here pray for your husband you are here pray for your wife you are here pray for your children take serious this prayer point zari are you praying koinonia global pray and as many who are connecting please pray for the grace the grace to pray the discipline to pray with understanding, fervent, effectual, fervent, effectual. You are a man of God here, pray twice. The days that are coming will not allow spiritual laziness. You really need capacity in the spirit. Hallelujah. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. He's the Lord. Is 
the Lord God Almighty. My life is full of your glory. My life is full of your glory. Hallelujah. I'm hearing something in my spirit and the Lord is saying, I should tell you, there are two people here, God is speaking to you and he's saying, restore your prayer life. You were once a person of great prayer, but you veered off because of carelessness. And God is saying, I'm still waiting for you at the place of prayer. I'm still waiting for you. I'm still waiting for you. There are songs you used to sing because you're a man of prayer, a woman of prayer. You've even forgotten them. You don't even know them again. Go back and carry your old notebook. The notebooks that you used to write those songs. Go back again. There are scriptures you used to know because you always use them in the place of prayer. Now you have forgotten them. Go back and carry those old notebooks again and begin to pray. Pray with understanding. Pray for victory. Pray to establish your enthronement. Pray to be a candidate for greater works. Please be seated. Spare me a few more minutes. There is a quickening that is happening to your spirit man. To be quickened means to be made alive. Awake thou that sleepest. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. For in your presence there is life everlasting. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord, for in your presence there is life everlasting. I will reverence you, Lord. Hallelujah. I raised that song and I was seeing a woman in my vision. You are the only one out of all your family people who is saved. Your husband is not even saved. And you have two children let me tell you commit yourself to interceding don't say God cannot save your husband you don't know who he is Amen. God cannot is because you don't know who he is hallelujah God can visit your husband visit your children have you not heard the testimonies of people here it doesn't matter what the limitation is one of the ways you build your faith is in the place of prayer but ye beloved, it says, building up yourselves in your most holy faith, praying, praying, praying in the Holy Ghost. Let me give you a kind advice. Never take a step over anything you have not prayed about, no matter how sure you are. Even if it is five minutes prayer with understanding, one decision that is filtered through the place of prayer can save you 10 years 20 years, perhaps a lifetime of misery. Hallelujah. The force of prayer, of prayer, 